my PUBG Sports fans. I'm your PUBG Sports guy, Annie, and I'm here with Paperson. Hey guys, it's good to be back. So we're back with PUBG Sports news in two months. I can't believe that PGIS is almost over. Yeah, like all good things, it must come to an end, but there's still the finals this weekend, and I am really excited for that. So in the last week, the prize money is getting bigger and bigger. The winner is going to be granted with $500,000. In most cases, the winner of week six weekly final will crown the PGIS champion. But we do have to have a calculation, right? Yeah, there's a few scenarios where if Genji gets second place, that they might actually win the tournament depending on what's happening. So it's not completely confirmed. Whoever wins the final week will be the winner. So we'll find that out in the week six weekly final. So let's move on to the 16 teams who advance to the weekly final in week six. So first, we have to talk about Gen.G because they are number one in price ranking. I can't say more about this team because they're always doing good in these big tournaments and they know how to meet their expectations from fans. Yeah, your 2019 PGC champions continue to look great here at PGIS. Even though they didn't win any of the PCSs in 2020, it seems like they are finally coming together at the right moment to win a lot of money potentially. So PO is always good, but I think Anonix is really good these days. I can't forget that clutch win against Oath, the 3v1 that he did on the weekly survival in week six. So I think Gen G will really have a chance to win on the week six. Absolutely. And then the other two Korean teams that made it into the week six weekly finals are going to be Afrika Freaks and T1. Afrika Freaks have qualified for every week. They won the very first week. Since then, it's been a bit of a struggle. And at times, even during the weekly survival, uh, it seemed like they were struggling to get into the finals. Maybe now they can really find that mojo, find that same form when they won the PWS at the beginning of this year. I'm really excited to see how they do. T1, I would say probably defying expectations to get here. They, they were a team that struggled at the end of 2020, at the beginning of 2021. But here in this tournament, at the end, they've really turned it on. They've done great in the weekly survivals. Maybe they can finally put it together. We know there's a lot of good players on that team. So for North America, I think it's going to be a really good news to NA PUBG Esports fans because all four North American teams have advanced to the last weekly final. I think they must feel really happy. Oh, I'm really excited for this. I mean, these guys have worked really hard throughout 2020 to become some of the best teams in the world now. So I'm excited to see how they perform. So all four North American teams stood out in the PGIS, like Oath, they made it to the all-weekly final, Shoot to Kill, they are killing machines, Sonics, they won the first weekly survival ever, and Zenith, they won the week four weekly final, it was an unexpected win. Which team would have a chance to win the week six weekly final? I think it's really tough to say out of NA because all four teams have been so good in different ways throughout this tournament. Um, Shoot to Kill is fragging the best out of any team at this tournament. Oath has been ultra consistent. I think for me, I think Shoot to Kill has the best chance. Typically in super settings, teams that can frag well and do a lot of damage often do well in that format. So another region that showed an expected performance was Southeast Asia. I think not a lot of fans would expect all the teams to perform so well. Um, especially day trade, they have been advancing to the weekly final since week two and they are really fragging out, performing so well in the weekly survival and finally succeeded to win the prize money. Yeah, day trade has been really consistent. Another team that has really impressed me from that region is Buriram United. They were my pick throughout 2020 for PCS almost <laughs> every time. Uh, this team can frag out. They are absolutely nuts. They're crazy good mechanically. They do stuff that other teams don't expect, so that oftentimes puts other teams in bad positions where Buriram can kind of catch them uh, by surprise and things like that. So watch out for them. Those guys are incredibly talented, great fraggers, and like I said earlier, teams that frag well tend to do well in these kind of events. So four teams out of six Chinese teams has advanced to the last weekly final. And among these teams, I want to point out infantry. So infantry is always very consistent, even in PTS. And now they advance to the most of the weekly final, except week three. And I have to talk about this long scars performance. Yeah, he's crazy. I mean, he came out of the water underneath the bridge on Miramar and just went crazy. But we have to talk about 4 a.m. too. This team is always doing well in the big tournaments. Nowadays, they are kind of struggling, but you know how 4 a.m. perform in this kind of global event, so we should also look for this team too. So last but not least, we have to talk about Europe teams. So week six was really 
hard time for European teams and also European fans because none of the teams made it to the Wicked Final until the last day. Do you remember that last two matches? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, you could hear the stress in Sims and Pansy's voice. It was, it was very difficult for the European region coming into there, but they were able to come through at the very end and put two teams into the Grand Final. So FaZe Clan, they won the Week 3 Weekly Final, but then they failed to advance to the Weekly Final consistently for two weeks. But in the Week 4 Weekly Survival, they were always very close to winning the chicken dinner. It's sad that they scored 106 points in 16 games. That's a lot. So I expect a lot um, from this team, how they can perform under the Super Rule Point system. And we have a Sunday, Play Sunday, so we might have to expect them on the Sunday too. And for the Liquid, that reminded me of the PGC 2019 semifinal, last match of semifinal, how FaZe Clan made it to the final by winning 17 kills chicken. With, um, 18 kills chicken for Team Liquid showed us how desperate they were advancing to this last weekly final. Yeah, up until week five, Team Liquid had been very consistent at making the weekly finals. They haven't done great uh, when they've gotten there. They've done okay, but now we're looking to see if this kind of aggressive style that Team Liquid has been bringing to this tournament. They like the third party fights quite often. They're really comfortable in those situations. It hasn't always panned out for them. Can they ride that momentum like FaZe did in 2019 to a good performance here in week six? So the six weeks of weekly series is almost over. All the weekly final winners have advanced to this weekly final, which means that this was going to be the finale to see which teams is the best among all the PGIS participating teams. It's been a great tournament. It's hard to see it come to an end, but I can't wait for this finale. It should be amazing. It's been a blast to be a part of this tournament. And guys, make sure you watch this final weekend. It's going to be crazy. And also, thanks for all the PUBG Esports fans who've been supporting and watching our PGIS. And for the crowdfunding, we've reached more than 6 mil. This is kind of record. Yeah, I mean, $6 million, that's an FPS record for eSports, so that's super exciting. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much. So stay tuned for the last weekly final, and we'll be back with another content with Paper Thin. Bye!